Hello geeks and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Uh, today we are solving the last problem of our 30 day Geeks for Geeks coding challenge and uh, I hope you have come up to this point and you are maintaining your streak and if not don't worry I have, as I have previously mentioned. So we are going to open all the 30 tracks and uh, if you have missed any solution you can submit that and uh, for uh, solutions you can uh, know uh, have a look at this playlist and uh, there are 21 problems in, in our Geeks for Geeks channel and uh, uh, first 10 problems are in my YouTube my YouTube channel. You can search for that Cyprecast 3D and you will find all the solutions and uh, Let's try and know uh, Solve this problem and let's talk few things, right? So so problem today we have is called as escape, escape the forbidden forest and uh, Finalope and her classmates are lost in the forbidden uh, Forest and the devil is out to get them but uh, Penelope or Finalope sorry for the pronunciation has uh, magical powers that can uh, build bridges across the dangerous river and uh, take her friends to the safety. The only bridges that can withstand the devil's wrath are the ones built between two similar trees. So, okay. Okay. So given string one and string two denoting the order of trees on either side of the river. So string one is on the this side and string two is on this side and in between there is the river and the devil is coming from the behind. So Finelop has to, what has to do is uh, has to build a maximum number of bridges that Finelop can build to save everyone from the devil. So there is this uh, location, there is uh, this location and we are representing the, uh, these forests with the uh, strings and there is this mighty river in the uh, middle and uh, in order to escape from the devil that is uh, uh, no coming from the back of them, they have to uh, no, try and build these bridges using some magical powers and all and uh, the catch here is uh, we can only build a tree uh, if there are uh, identical characters, right? So this is uh, a classical uh, longest common subsequence problems. So if you ask me how I was able to say that, see, uh, the thing is simple, right? So we have uh, two strings and uh, they could be of different lengths. But in order to know build the map bridges, so we have to know find all the number, all the uh, see, uh, no characters that are matching in them, right? So this is a classical uh, longest common subsequence problem, and it is a pr pretty. Uh, no popular problem and uh, there are uh, thousands of articles thousands of uh, uh, videos on youtube right so i'm not going to know uh, dive into depth but i will i will make sure you understand what uh, how to solve longest common subsequence right so i have pulled up an uh, article here so this gives a, a nice representation of that so this is how we are going to solve this problem right so assume uh, a b c d e f g and b c d g k are our two strings right so now our, our we have to solve the strings for our longest common subsequence and let me tell you the answer for this is going to be b c d and g b c d and g and and by the way if you are not uh, sure what a longest common sub subsequence is is nothing but no longest common um, substring from the two strings but the catch is we can ignore some strings right so let's say uh, b c d e f g is my uh, string substring but i have ignored e f and the same way b c d g k is my string and i have ignored k Right, so you can take a substring from the two strings, and you can ignore some strings. Right, so uh, you can also define it in other way. That's a uh, longest common subsequence is a sequence of numbers whose order is uh, not changed, but uh, the characters in, bit in between them can be removed. Right, so in in a, in a longest common subsequence, B will be always uh, no uh, followed before C. Right, so you cannot uh, say C and B. Right, so you always have to be in order of B and C. So the order will be prevalent, but we can remove the uh, strings in between them. Right, so this is what uh, call uh, common subsequences, and uh, our uh, target here is to find longest common subsequence. Right, so for that we are obviously going to use dynamic programming because uh, this is how it is done, uh, no popularly, and. Uh, so we are going to run it n square, but ideally you can uh, call it as m into n because uh, let's say length of uh, my big string is m and length of my small string is n. So it is going, we are going to create a space of m cross n, right? And uh, we are going to try and fill each cell, right? So let me tell you how uh, we are going to build the table. So this is the table that you are seeing. So we are we have to we are going to build uh, the similar kind of table where. Uh, so uh, we are going to take one string into my uh, columns and one string into my rows and. So this is the string in our uh, in our in our uh, target. So this is the string in, of our interest, and we are trying to find longest common sub subsequence between these two uh, index, right? So as I said, we are going to build this DB table. So let me uh, tell you why uh, how we are going to build this table. So you can see this uh, animation, right? So let's say uh, let's start from the beginning, right? So let's say uh, 
I'm trying to fill this column, this particular column that is uh, zero and zero, right? So I'm going to know, uh, look for the strings, right? So at zero and zero, uh, strings that I have is uh, string one is going to be a, and string one, uh, string two is going to be b, right? So they are uh, they are not equal, right? So there is no common substring between a and b, right? So I'm at this point. I'm not considering the whole string. Keep that in mind. At this point, only the string in our interest is uh, uh, a for, from our first string and b from our second string. So at this point. Uh, they are not equal so the longest common subsequence at that point will be zero right now we are going to move forward in our table so let's say i, I am trying to fill this uh, cell right so our cell of our interest is zero comma one and uh, now our string a becomes a comma b and our string b becomes b right now what i am going to do is i'm going to compare these strings so, so b and b is equal right so now uh, i'm going to fill this cell uh, as this row i'm going to take what is the maximum longest common sequence that i have found till that cell that is uh, this point and i'm going to add one to that why why you may ask so because uh, we, we have a uh, at each cell we are trying to add one character right so if the character is matching then we, we are we are adding a character to our longest common subject that was pre present previously so obviously the length is going to be increased by one so this is what happens here so so whenever a uh, particular cell has uh, both uh, strings equal so we're going to take uh, what is the maximum answer that was present at the previous point so ideally it is going to be a cell just behind that and add one to that because we have a match we have a string match at that point and we're going to do the same thing here so uh, as i know do this for the entire string there is no match for b again right so hence uh, one uh, all the answers were going to be as one and uh, the same thing in the column right and let's look at some interesting columns here so let's say we are uh, trying to build this entirely but what happens if uh, if a particular case where uh, a string is not equal, let's say uh, at D and C, right? So uh, now our interest is uh, two comma two, right? So now uh, a string in our interest is uh, on the top side A B C, and string in our interest on the left side is B C D, right? Now uh, we are looking at uh, string D, and string D doesn't match with C, right? So previously we had a match, so we have taken the previous uh, no cell plus one, but if there is no match. Then uh, uh, we are going to do uh, something like this. So we are going to take what is the maximum with the current string that I have. So what is the maximum subsequence with B, C, D, and A, B, C, or what is the uh, or? So we are also going to take or what is the maximum with the previous string that is without considering D. So that is B, C, and A, B, C, right? So in that case, uh, the answer will be simply as so. If I am trying to calculate the longest common sequence at this cell. So it is going to be the maximum of, and we have a mismatch. Then it is going to be maximum of this cell and this cell. That is uh, two comma one, and uh, and it is one comma two. So for uh, for filling a cell two comma two, right? So if there is a mismatch, then uh, we are going to uh, take what is the maximum on my left side. That is with the entire string B C D considered, and what is the maximum without considering uh, B C D only B C. That is. Uh, uh, cell uh, to its left and cell to its top. So we are going to take what is the maximum of that position. So one, of maximum of one comma two is going to be two. So we are going to fill two a two in that case. So the same thing happens here here as well. So here uh, k and g are mismatched. So we are going to know uh, see what is the maximum between uh, uh, current subsequence of the previous cell and the uh, so subsequence without considering the character. So so b c d g and a b c d g gives us a, a subsequence of four. Right, but B C D G K and A B C D E F gives us three. So, which is maximum of that? It is four. So, we are going to fill four in our uh, current cell. Right. So, this is what we are going to do and fill the entire array. In the end, we are going to return our uh, maximum that you have seen in this entire array. Right. I hope I made it clear. And uh, shout out to Gabriel G H E for uh, this article. And let's try and code this up. So, I am going to use Python here. So as I've said, we are going to use a DP for that. So let's call, let's create a two variables that is going to be n1 comma n2. And uh, these both are going to store length of my strings. So length of str of one and uh, length of str of two, right? So now as I've said, we are going to create a DP array. So it's going to be an array of arrays, so 2D array. So let me initialize them with the zeros. And uh, this is going to take a, uh, n plus one columns so n two plus one and i have to do it for all the i n elements so for uh, i in range of uh, 
n1 plus 1 so this is going to create me my dp uh, array and now see, i can simply say uh, my answer is going to be initial to 0 and i can simply do the two loops say for i in the range of uh, uh, n1 right and uh, for j in uh, range of uh, n2 so we are going to do m cross n traversal so the time complexity is going to be uh, m cross n and even the space is going to be m cross n because we are creating a 2d array of uh, m rows and n columns and uh, yeah so as i said we are going to see if a uh, string at uh, i either uh, sorry string 1 at i is equals to string 2 at j right so if they are equal that is if a particular string that is a b c as i said in the previous right so a b c is matching with c then we have an entry right so we are we are going to use that string to our, add our answer so at, at our dp location that we are trying to fill so we are going to take a previous uh, uh, cell value and we are going to add one to that so dp of i plus one and j plus one is going to be a dp of i and j that is previous cell plus one and uh, if that's not the case in the else condition uh, we are going to say uh, dp of uh, i plus 1 right so dp of i plus 1 and uh, j plus j plus 1 is going to be maximum of the two cells right that is going to be dp of uh, i plus 1 so i plus 1 and uh, j plus 1 sorry j sorry uh, uh, j and db at uh, i and j plus 1 right so uh, we have filled our db right so uh, let's keep an answer uh, at each index so answer is going to be a maximum of uh, my current answer and what is there at the end of that so at a db of i plus 1 sorry for that i, I plus 1 and uh, j plus 1 sorry is my current index so in the end i can simply return my answer and let me just compile this this is basically you know uh, finding longest common subsequence right and it is waiting and it is satisfied so we have able to you know successfully complete all the 30 problems and uh, so this was an interesting problem this was an uh, rather popular problem and uh, there are let's say thousands of videos on the youtube even our geeks for geeks uh, there are thousands of articles uh, in order to you know understand better how this works and let me just you know give a last quick explanation of that so as i've said so let's say at, we're at uh, this point right so if there is a match of b and b right so then we are going to you know i take the previous answer that is zero uh, and we are going to add plus one to that as simple as that and if there is no match right in this case we are going to take a uh, left two values and uh, not or choose what's the maximum of that right so th that is how simple you can, you can solve uh, longest common subsequence so if you are asked in any interview so this problem is bound to be asked in uh, interviews so uh, you, you can you know uh, give a nice explanation for that so i hope uh, this series was helpful uh, so this is going to be my last video in this series so we are uh, we are coming at 30 days and uh, as i said if you want to know uh, look back to any solution so they are the uh, no, first 10 videos are first nine videos are available in my channel that is sai prakash study youtube channel and the rest of them are uh, available in our geeks for geeks channel so you can simply you know uh, click that hashtag and you will uh, able to see all the 30 videos and uh, as i said the other tracks will be open and you can go back and uh, solve any problems and uh, and this is not only for the 30 days guys so uh, coding is uh, what uh, depends on how how much practice that we do right so if we are uh, you no know, we keep our hands warm then it's always good there right so i suggest you to know solve problems so in geeks there are like some thousands of problems like some right so uh, you can um, you always find problems to solve so even i use geeks for geeks every day to solve uh, problems so i'm in my fourth year so I use Geek for Geeks by email, for my placements and all. So take my word for that. And uh, thanks for watching this uh, series. I hope you like this series and we'll try and come up with more series like this. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.